Welcome to the Cooking with Max show. First, you uh, pop open the, the meat container. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what she said. I like meat. Let's see, I wonder. That's not gonna work. What about like up here? Whoa, do we need anything in the fridge? You can go for it if you want to. That's barely acceptable, but I guess. I will forget that that's there. All right, then we will not do that. <laughs> Um, there we go. This works. No more talking crap about work or all those girlfriends you bring over, huh, Brandon? What? what? Oh, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Is there a problem with, like, having girls over? Laura's not going to No, it's like a joke. I realize it's a joke, but I don't know why it's a joke. <laughs> all your extra side girlfriends. Okay, I, I believe you as a joke, and I'm pretty sure it's my fault, not yours, but it's it's eluding me. Right, high heat? For steakies? Yeah. We're going to salt and pepper them and sip a little bit. Oh, really? Did you already do that? No, not yet. Alright. Oh, this is like the perfect spot to just like... So I'm gonna do like medium low. I'm gonna turn this off for now, actually. Okay. So usually what I do here... Is we're gonna slot it over there so that it's in the um, So generally what I do, you have a few ways to season it. You can either use like a steak rub or like a steak seasoning. For a ribeye, it's pretty good meat out the door, so I'll just use salt and pepper. Is this I also, Yeah. Okay. I, I did not know. I yes. Just, okay, good. Yeah, ribeye is a pretty decent cut. Edible. Yeah, it's very fatty and it's got a lot of flavor out the door, so usually what I'll do is I'll just salt pepper it, let it sit for a little bit so it kind of comes down to room temperature, and then I'll make it. So I like to salt like the ever living crap out of it. And That's why it's so tasty. Saltier the better. Uh, yeah. And then same thing with the little the buddy, Mr. Pepper. And then we're gonna flip them and do the exact same. I like to need a little bit of extra salt with the fatty pieces, especially on like the really like kind of chunky cuts here. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we'll let it sit for a little bit. All right. Easy. Sounds good. How do your potatoes work? Are they stove top or are they in there? It's or? just in there. All right. Cool beans. It's not complicated in the slightest. How does work other than the crappy interview? It's good. And I sent out. Um, I sent out an offer today, and the girl. Oh, did you? The girl I interviewed yesterday um, also applied. So I'm gonna talk to her manager tomorrow, and hopefully we'll have two offers out this week. Um, I, I think they're both strong yeses for me, so yeah. as of next week, I'll be in there. <laughs> that's exciting. And that's super exciting. Yeah. I'm definitely jealous. And I have a, uh, I have a pod on Monday to try and get me a third. So I have two back-to-backs and then a phone screen. So this is exciting. Ironically, the, both the candidates we interviewed, um, have two week vacations at the beginning of October. <laughs> so I gotta wait a whole month and month and some change. No, I mean, okay. I think it's gonna be nicer for them too because they can, you know, kind of ramp down the current team, take some time off, and come in with a fresh mind. So I think oh, it's a better candidate experience. 
give you time to prep stuff for them. Yeah, exactly. I've got a project that's finishing up and then I've got, I could probably organize my thoughts into something meaningful so they could start with actual tasks as opposed to just my like nonsense day to day stuff. the day yeah. <laughs> yeah. start off with my boss being like why did you do this wrong and I was like because I did it at like <laughs> one in the morning <laughs> tired it's been a long week huh? <laughs> it's been a really goddamn long week I actually told Laura this morning I was like this job has to end soon like well then we'll all learn front of development and jump over to the dark side let me know I, so I was actually looking at master's degrees um, late last night. Yeah. And one of them was a computer science master's from hey, all right. UW. I don't think I would get in. Uh, I know that it one seems like they want people who are basically already dead. They want like fire top fly or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they don't care about that. They want you to be a dev already. That's see. really kind of what it boils down to. Um, but something about me needs to be reinvented. And I've been saying this for a couple of years now, and I just have yet to land on how or what. Yeah, it's gonna be fairly effective in what you do. It just sounds like, it sounds like you've not found the right company to see that potentially. Yeah. I'm surprised the last gig went the way it did. The, the Suncast one? Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I was a uh, uh, surprise. I, oh yeah, no, I caught me off guard. <laughs> they didn't even try to like, re move people around at all. It's just, it, it was money. Yeah, I can believe A lot it. of people were sent away that week. That so. sucks. I mean, I would, have. I like I know now my boss uh, took my job because they got rid of his position. Ooh. So like, it, it was a your job's going away. Do you either take a demotion or what? Um, which like at the end of the day, if if one of us had to go, I would pick him because or me because like he had a family and a wife who didn't work and like you know I'm in my twenties. The world isn't going to end if it takes me a couple of weeks to feel better about myself. I see. Also, I could have very easily been stuck at that company forever, and <laughs> it would not have been a good place to be stuck. There's worse places to be stuck. Right. Okay. So for this stove and this pan, I do like medium low. I found hot okay. will like sear the outside too fast and then the inside just gets super well done too. Okay. So I'll do like right there. I'll let it heat up a little bit. I'll put on some olive oil and this. Thank you for narrating as you go. Yeah, I definitely. It. And then I brought some butter out. It's over here. I'll put it in view. Yeah. I cut off maybe like a teaspoon little, for little each. So we'll, we'll do one side, flip it, put a little piece of butter on there and then cover it with some foil and then it'll kind of like mesh this over. Not quite the healthiest, but boy, is it tasty. Yeah, the only way I know how to do things like this is to marinate the daylight side of them and put it on a barbecue, and that's not as good as the way you do it. Yeah, marinade is good. Um, I've done that too. Um, I did just find a marinade that I really like outside of this one here that's called Dale's, but Dale's is kind of like a bit much for like a fattier, bigger steak like this. It's almost like a soy sauce kind of a thing. It's interesting. And depending on who you talk to, some people will say, don't use olive oil and use the pan directly. I've been okay with olive oil in the past, so I'll just do it here. Okay. This is something so it doesn't stick. Yeah, 
the color that it's in. Let's do the non. Let's do the fattier one. You can get the smoke detector on the video. Yeah. One of the like, central places in this apartment. Yeah. I have a friend of mine who will actually take a steak. He'll sear it on the stove until it's like almost done. And then he puts it in the oven and puts half a stick of butter on top at 450 for five minutes. And when he takes it out, there's so much smoke in the butter. Like, in that frame, the alarm always goes off. The alarm is actually a timer for when it's done. <laughs> That's <amazing>. Yeah. <laughs> The only problem with the really fatty cuts like this is it can be kind of hard to like get the edges done, especially when it's like out here like this. Um, I have the panini press for so multiple times with that, but I've been too lazy to do that recently. So I'll let it cook like normal, then I'll just take the tongs and really just hold it on the side for a bit. And that seems to go off the And then grill is always also good to do.
you like it more rare, well done, or yeah. I'm going to have the really fatty end, but I just want to make sure it goes. I think generally you want it to be kind of like the consistency of like your palm right here, and it's a good like medium rare kind of a thing. You can kind of just brush down and figure it out. I generally have a very hard time figuring that out, so I'm a little bit more keen to kind of just swing it and see what happens. I'm gonna pull this out and place it here. And then generally you don't cut it open just yet, so you can put it in Okay. And we'll throw the next one. Do you wanna do the next one? Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> as long as I took the video so I could follow along. When do you cover it with the foil? Um, so what we'll do is we'll let it sit here for about four or five minutes so that the bottom gets to through and the middle starts to warm up. And then we'll flip it, put a little piece of butter on top and cover it with foil. Um, it helps. Yeah, you said that I just took yeah. the video so I could not. Uh, yep, no worries. Hey, Google, set a time for four minutes. You can now say a COP without the third word and it will uh, box the alarm. Whoa, really? Like, huh. I feel like if I ask something, they say that's a conversation. You would, but the alarm won't be going off at the time. Oh, I see. It's just going off. It's like our, our buddy over there when I was complaining to her about an emergency but yeah. yeah. Uh, cable through my mouth and like, oh, all right. Yeah. Let's fall out of the I'm gonna corral, corral, no. <laughs> no. I, see, this is the problem. When I give blood, my brain falls apart. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I can't think of the word I want. Yes, sir? Uh, no, like, forcibly. Hold on, sit, sit there. Uh, I like that photo. Oh, it's very manic. You've got the apartment, the painting, and the I mean, that's how I'll about it. Um, uh, like, force someone to do something they don't want to do in a good painting way. Force? Yeah. You know, well, like, I'm sure. Uh, I get her to do fire setting because she's like, oh, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, it's not that bad. Of course. Of course. That's the way I want And so you're going to encourage someone. <laughs> you have like the real fire hydrants, right? Oh yeah. Well, so that's actually really interesting. Um, yes, I do, but nothing is actually made of Pyrex anymore. Yeah. I use Persilicate glass, which is inferior to Pyrex, but cheaper to produce. Yeah, it shatters easier. That was the whole thing back in the day, that it shatters. So if you want really good Pyrex, you need to buy the stuff from like the 1950s. Yeah. Okay. That's what I learned after I bought all my Pyrex, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's a fascinating company, Corning, the company that invented Pyrex. Yeah. They're, you you did enjoy reading about them. They're like Bell Labs. They invented like everything I know, or? No, they're, uh, they have like a legacy you know, of Bell Labs, right? Well, I, the name sounds familiar, but. So Bell Labs is the antecedent to all of tech. Okay. They are the godfather of everything we know. I see. Um, 
like in every way that you can possibly imagine. Um, and Corning is a like old world glass company. Um, like, but they do like all the fiber optic cable in the world, like high end stuff. That's what they do. Okay. Uh, they own the patents for all the glass on our TVs and laptops, and they own, I think they own the Sapphire patent. <laughs> I know they own the Gorilla Glass patent. Like, and they're, they're like one of those towns, or like one of those places that's like a company town. They're like company owned housing. I'm worried about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I trust the fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got one of those little baby pieces of butter right there and just put them on top. Just oh, one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and then we'll just cover them. All the foil does is keep, keep the trap heat the butter actually melts. They put it on by itself and it's kind of sit there for a little bit. Uh, I think I might take it again. Oh. Ooh, it worked. It worked. This might increase the chance for the uh, smoky, smoky pressure going off. Yeah, it's in foil? Yeah. For the butter. But, <laughs> combined. <laughs> I think we need this more smoke and like a bigger burst to put it back. Yeah. Thanks for giving the video lesson. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I realize like I, over the last two years, like I keep having little things up here today and they're always like really, really good. I hope it turns out well. I can be a little bit or miss. I've gotten what fairly what consistent. What do you usually buy? I'm, I'm a big ribeye fan. Ribeye? Yeah, either ribeye or like no. New York. Um, if I'm nail cupping, I'll go something cheaper like sirloin or even like down. The beef stew I made was just like leftovers. Yeah, I, I made good steaks, but I definitely made bad steaks because like, I eyeballed it from. Well, I have not seen one bad steak. Yeah. <laughs> 